Hi, I'm Sean Rice from the international tour of The Addams Family, and this is Living Out of Suitcases, my vlog where I give you tips for the traveling actor and show you what it's like to work on a Broadway tour. Today I'm filming in between shows. Don't mind my eye makeup. Our show is actually about to go on a small hiatus before we come back to finish up our touring schedule. But before we head home for some time off, we did have a golden day here in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, named for Christopher Columbus, is the capital of Ohio and the 15th largest state in the U.S. You might recognize it as the backdrop for such movies as Traffic, Tango and Cash, and The Silence of the Lambs. A great way to get around while you're in the city and to keep Columbus green is to try out COGO, the Columbus Bike Share Program that offers 300 bicycles at 30 stations strategically placed throughout the area, which are available for just $6 for 24 hours. A great place to bike is the Scioto Mile, which takes you down the picturesque Scioto River with plenty of spots to stop off for a rest along the way. Just down the river is the Arena District, offering sporting events in the nationwide arena and plenty of restaurant options. To kill two birds with one stone, stop in the Studio Movie Grill Arena Grand, a movie theater restaurant combo where the waiters bring anything from full meals to popcorn and drinks right to your seat. Further on down High Street is the Short North Area, offering over 90 restaurants, boutique shops, art galleries, and street art, which highlight Columbus's artsy side. Also in the area is the North Market, a fantastic, eclectic indoor market featuring vendors and restaurants providing fresh locally grown foods from every walk of life. One of the must-have is Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams, where you can find unique freshly made ice cream flavors like banana french toast, Oregon fur, and goat cheese with cherries. It's a perfect way to end the day in this fun-filled city. An actor is always looking for the next gig. Even a gargantuan 18-month contract, like this one, comes to an end. Leaving you jobless and, in my case, temporarily homeless. But that's a whole nother vlog. That means you have to be prepared to start your job search on the road. It is absolutely possible to do if you plan ahead of time. First off, make sure that you're traveling with all the office supplies that you'll need. One of the pockets in my suitcase is my office, where I keep everything that I'll need. Large envelopes, pens, highlighters, post-its, scissors, rewritable DVDs and CDs, cases for DVDs and CDs, stamps, and of course headshots. That way I'm always ready to print off a resume and a cover letter in the business center of whatever hotel we're staying in and send off a video submission to a casting director. As an actor on the road, I think it's incredibly essential to have an online presence, not only showcasing you to fans in the press, but especially geared toward casting. My webpage includes a video audition section where I include both songs and monologues. That way if I'm submitting online to a casting director, I can include the link to my website and they can go there to see more of me and hopefully ask me to do something else or just cast me outright. Hey, I've gotten several jobs for my website alone, so I know it works. Plus, having pre-recorded audition materials means that you are not scrambling last minute to go and try to record something in between shows or right after you get off the bus when you may not be at your best. Another good tip is to scan all the songs in your songbook into PDF format and keep it on a flash drive. That way, if you do have to record record something else, you can just plug in that flash drive and print off the songs that you need and not have to carry your songbook around all over the world. I'm always thinking about that 50 pound weight limit in your suitcase. Hopefully these tips will help you land that next job, even from the Motel 6 by the airport on the other side of the world. So the other day I went out on a whim and saw the movie adaption of Divergent by Veronica Roth and loved it. Seriously, I highly recommend going to see this movie even if you've never read the books. I hadn't read them at all, but now it's my book of the month. If you don't know anything about the books, it has the feel of a grittier, Hunger Games, if that's possible. But it's not Hunger Games. Set in the future that follows a horrible war that almost destroys humanity, all of humanity has decided that the only way to have everlasting peace is to divide itself into several different factions. Each faction is centered around a different trait, which decides how your life is lived and what kind of job you will have. Candors favor honesty and run the judicial system. Eurydites favor knowledge and become teachers and researchers. The abnegation are selfless and therefore help the unfortunate and take on leadership roles in the government because they don't want any power. While the Dauntless are very brave and therefore protect the society. At the age of 16, you are given an aptitude test which helps you decide which faction that you'll be best for. Then you get to choose which faction you go into. However, you only get to choose once, and wherever you go, you have to stay, perhaps leaving your entire family behind. Those who choose unwisely or fail the initiation process into your new faction 
end up factionless and homeless, living on the street with no family or friends. Now, every so often, someone comes along who doesn't fit neatly into one of the factions. Those type of people are known as divergent, and they are thought to be a threat to society's entire way of life, and are therefore sought out and destroyed. It's an interesting concept. And like I said, the movie was killer. I just started reading the book, and I'm loving it. It's part of a trilogy, so I'm trying to zip through this first book so I can read the second before the sequel to the movie comes out. If you've read Divergent, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. Hi everybody, I'm here with Renee Barth. She's the mother of our Pugsley and our official tour mom. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you, Uncle Festa? Oh, I'm wonderful. Thanks for Ooh. asking. Well, I wanted to talk to you today and find out what it's like to be a mom on the road. Ooh, it is very exciting and very busy because I don't have just one child on the road. I have a whole busload of children. That's true. It's really fun, really busy. <laughs> so what kind of things do you do with Connor? Connor plays our Pugsley. Connor is, um, well, I make sure he eats. I make sure he gets enough sleep. I make sure he does his school, which is the hardest part. And then get him to the theater on time, get him to rehearsals, get him to press events, and then try to just be his mom after that. Wow. <laughs> so is this something you've ever done before? Never. Oh, your first time on first tour? First time on tour. Oh, how do you like it? I love it. We're going on almost a year on the road. It's been amazing. Now, what is the hardest part about being a traveling mom with a show like this? Um, 14-hour bus days. Mm, Those yes. are the toughest. And what's the best part? The best part is meeting this crazy, kooky family and being on the road with them. Oh, thanks, tour mom. Oh, my pleasure, Uncle <laughs> Fester. Okay, well that's it for a few weeks. Like I said, we're on hiatus for a few weeks, so I'm headed down to Tampa to visit my folks for a while. But I will see you back here on Wednesday for an Adams Family Portrait. And then I'll be back in a couple weeks for our last few weeks of tour. Bye-bye for now!